Welcome back, one and all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time to take our LED knowledge and take it to the next level. Today we are going to uh, continue on and we're going to write a program that takes a number between 0 and 255 and converts it into a binary number, so 8-bit number, one byte, and it will light up the LEDs on our breadboard um, accordingly. So a zero value would be an, a light that's off and a one value would be a light that is on. So let's get to it. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to up our LED count here. So we already have one on our board from our previous exercise. Now we need to add seven more so that we have a total of eight. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a wire out from we started in port 2 on the digital side and we're going to increase our ports all the way till we get to 9 so I'm gonna grab a wire and I'm gonna drag it out here let me change the color to red to indicate that this is providing power and so now in port 3 I have another wire coming out I'm just gonna do the schematic anyway just a simple copy paste So now I have another LED remember the power goes up the longer leg, the anode, lights up the diode inside and comes down the cathode. And then we have this power rail here. We're going to jump to our uh, neutral rail right here that runs the whole length of the board by uh, attaching a, new, uh, a resistor. So a 220 resistor will bridge this gap for us and now we have another LED light. So what I want you to do is go ahead and wire eight of those now in the schematic you'll see that I left quite a bit of space but that's just so that you could visualize it. What I really want you to do is just leave about one rail distance between each of them uh, and that'll be about the width of the head of the LED light. So go ahead and take a moment to wire up eight LED lights. Great. Now when all is said and done you should have a masterpiece or a cluttered nightmare depending on your point of view uh, that looks something like this and on the Arduino end of things you'll notice that we now have wires coming out of ports 2 all the way up through port 9 on the digital side of the board. We're gonna wire up one more component before we move on so in order to control the number that's on the screen from 0 to 255 we're going to use uh, what's called a potentiometer, which is essentially a fancy name for a dial. It's also called rotary encoders. And this is going to, as you turn this dial, it's going to take a number from 0 to 1024, and it's going to pass it into the Arduino. And we're going to use that number to determine a number between uh, 0 and 255 so that you, the user has some input over the number and then our LED lights are going to light up accordingly. So your LED lights should be on the left hand side of your breadboard here. I'm going to put the uh, potentiometer over on the right hand side. Now to wire up one of these what we're going to do is we're going to take a wire and uh, we are going to run it from the left leg. So I have this put in here so I remember that the power is running all the way up and down these these uh, component paths here. So I'm going to take a wire and I'm going to put it into the 5 volt port down here under the power section of the Arduino. That's going to provide our power into the potentiometer. I'm going to change the color of this wire here to be red so that we know its power. And likewise, I'm going to take a neutral wire from the rightmost leg, and I'm going to run it into our neutral leg right here, because we already have a neutral rail that's running all the way down here. And let me just put another wire there, run that back to the ground on the board, and now we're good to go. So remember that this, this neutral rail runs the whole length of the board, so this wire is feeding into that as well. All right, the middle leg of the potentiometer is what actually transmits the value. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a wire and we're going to run it into one of these analog ports. There's six analog ports on an Arduino. I'm going to run it into A0 right here. 
and I am going to change the color of this wire to indicate that it is data that's being transmitted. So I'll make that one yellow. So that's how we wire in a potentiometer. So left leg power, rightmost leg, the ground or the neutral wire, and the middle leg is the actual data that's being transmitted into that analog port. Now that we have all of our components wired, I think this would be a good time to take a break uh, and be, pick up again uh, with processing and taking a look at how we're actually going to code this up. So stay tuned, one and all. This is Eric Dilliman, your course coordinator, signing out from this Arduino tutorial series, part three.